Um, Cutter is uh, Cutter Brandenburg, not Mr., but mm-hmm. Cutter Brandenburg is in the studio tonight with his brand new book, uh, mostly you, about all kinds of stuff, Texas yeah, music, called, blues. You can't stop a comet. Can't stop a comet, but there's a whole bunch of Stevie Ray Vaughan, and, you know, this is Texas Blues Radio Cutter, so people are, are keen on Stevie, uh, at least between 6 to 8, Monday through Friday, and you've got some gigs coming up this weekend that you're promoting your book. And, uh, right. Well, uh, we're, we're doing tomorrow night at Hooters and the West End. Yes. At uh, what? Four to seven. Four to seven. And book having a little book signing party. And and then uh, I'll be at the Dallas Guitar Show Saturday and Sunday. You have a booth out there? And I, Yeah, we're at the... At the Texas Musicians Museum booth. Yeah, I think it's pretty close to right when you first walk in the door. Yes. Yeah, we have and, a booth out uh, there, too. So uh, I'll be seeing you all. God, there's so many good... That's a great place. Just to see the guitar show and see the people that come out and the guitars. I mean, yeah. what a neat thing. It's I mean, so much fun. We'd never get CV out of that place. I remember we used to go to those things. and oh, I just forget it. I know. You're there all day, open and close, CV ain't leaving. <laughs> I know. It's, 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 it's absolutely wonderful how well attended it is. It's the largest and the oldest uh, guitar yeah. show. Yeah. In- Mark Pollock and Jimmy Wallace, they've been around for years. Uh, been big supporters of guitar uh, players themselves and music owners and Charlie Wirtz and I mean there's so many uh, Larry and Arnold Morgan I mean we used to drive from Oak Cliff all the way to Garland to get to Larry Morgan and you know we Stevie would buy a guitar pick or something you know throughout the day and Larry would you know he'd blow up an amp and he'd break strings on every guitar and you know, we'd kind of walk around and Larry would be looking over. He's going, oh, my God. Boy, Stevie, can you turn it down? You know, I'm trying to sell stuff here, fella. And, um, but they've all been so supportive over the years. I mean, Charlie Wirtz, Charlie's Guitar Shop. This, uh, you, can't, you can't find people like that. You know, you can't pay people like that. Charlie kind of gave me the title of the book. We'd come back. We'd done the... Uh, Played for Alligator Records up in Chicago, and we thought we were going to get a deal. CV had Buddy Waters, Albert Collins, Buddy Guy, Albert King. All these cats were telling Bruce to sign this white kid, and honestly, he kind of didn't because he was white. And I, we were kind of nuts about it, but it really hurt Stevie. He thought, you know, see, I'm never going to get a, a deal, man. If, I, if I've got Muddy and all these guys behind me and nobody's going to sign me, then what are the odds? And we had to just kind of keep you know persevering so to speak he got the shot from uh, to play Montro uh, Switzerland the Montro Jazz Festival and that's a great thing this is the first artist that ever played Montro that was not signed to a label in the history of Montro I read that in your book and Stevie walks out on stage and this is a jazz fest so he's doing this Hendrix and Wild some blues and this and that and some guys are going that's very him others are going boo Stevie never been booed before in his life, ever, anywhere. And two weeks before, we'd been turned down by Alligator Records. So this, all of a sudden, Stevie was very affected by what was happening in his music, and maybe I'm, I'm nuts, maybe I'm kidding myself, type thing. And we'd come back to Dallas, and we instantly went to Charlie Guitar. I think Renee was going to do some refretting on, Steve, on Stevie's number one, or and. Of course, we went to Charlie's office, and Charlie, where he got out to Jack Daniels, and he wanted to hear about Montreux, and Stevie, it, 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 he kind of almost started to cry, because he, he felt that he, he was letting me, himself, Charlie, all of us down, and uh, Charlie, he said, you know, I, I may have screwed up, you know, I've never been booed before. And I said, oh, you know, I started to say something to, and Charlie jumped up and put his arm around Stevie and around me, and he said, don't worry, little brother, they can't stop a comet. Your day will come. And so when I wrote this book, that came back to me, because it was exactly what Stevie needed to hear from somebody like Charlie. I I mean, somebody else could have said it wouldn't have made any difference, but from Charlie. Charlie... It was like a father to Stevie. But they all were. Ray Henning was. Larry Morgan was. You know, they all were. We were all like uncles or whatever. Right. Of Not just Stevie and Jimmy, but all the guys, all right. the artists. I think some of these artists have, have been so lucky to have so many good people around them because you've got to have good people around right. you. Right, absolutely. This is, a, this is a snake business from the get-go. It's ugly business. Look at Robert Johnson. 
I mean, you know, here's a bottle of whiskey and, you know, a hotel room. Let's record this stuff, fella. I mean, it's a, it's a tough business. And I think the, the good people, the good people that are out there, that have, like the Dallas Guitar people and this Stevie Ray Vaughan ride committee, Rick Choate and Sean and all these people, and the sponsors and the Hooters, all these people are involved because... They don't have to because they need to be, because they want to be. Charlie's Guitar Shop, I mean, he wants to be a part of this. Uh, Clay and them have taken over. and It's neat to see Mark Pollock and, and, and Wallace and all these guys still going on after all these years, still really helping spread the music, spread the, spread the word, and, and, and sustain people. Right, absolutely. It's a tough thing not to have it, you know. You're out there by yourself on stage, y'all. All right, Cutter. It's seven o'clock. We gotta we gotta do our top of the hour break. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming Thank down. Good luck with your book. It's a fascinating it's already, read. It's already a great book. You've ever done so one more. Copy. It is an absolutely great book. I got book. so much out of my system, and and I think really, I, somebody asked me, well, how do I feel about it?" I said, "You know, I feel good because I think a lot of these stories need to be told because nobody else is going to tell them." Right. You know, and. I even asked some of the guys that I told the stories about how they felt. They said, well, I don't remember it because I was a little, you know, but as a road manager, I was like the sober guy out there. So I kind of feel like I got a, a good memory on some of these stories that they didn't. So I'm glad I did it. And it, it's really been very therapeutic for me. Good. I still get choked up when I talk about Stevie because I miss him and I love him. And I, we all I, do. But more than that, I, I still have all the guitar players that are out there, and not just guitar players, but musicians. I mean, uh, to me, they're the best. Music is the whole thing of what this is all about. I don't even want to go to church if I can't hear some good music in the background, you know? Well, you're welcome. <laughs> all right. We've got to take our top of the hour break. Thank you, Cutter Brandenburg. Thank can't y'all. stop a comment. Out in stores everywhere. No, no. It's only selling off my website. Uh, I well, couldn't get do- any of these people to do it. They've got to go to www. Mr. C, M R C E E, cutter.com. Okay, very good. Or come to me at the guitar show or at Hooters. Very or, good. We you know, send me an email and say, I need a book. Meet me at Taco Bell. I'll do that. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for coming down to you the bet. studio. We love your stuff. You're listening to KNON 89.3 FM, Dallas, Fort Worth. The voice of the people must be heard.